Kate Rogers is going to walk us through all the headlines regarding the virus today. Hey, Kate. Hey, Carl. Good morning. We'll begin with new cases today, more than 183,300 around the globe with more than 7,100 deaths. In the United States, cases have surpassed 4,600 with 85 deaths. Notably, while China recorded an additional 20 new cases Monday, just one new locally originated infection was recorded in Wuhan. Others were among travelers who had arrived from abroad. The Trump administration released new guidelines Monday to help slow the spread of coronavirus. The moves include closing schools, pausing discretionary travel, avoiding bars and restaurants, as well as groups of more than 10 people at a time. Those guidelines will apply for 15 days. Seven counties in Northern California have now been ordered to shelter in place for the next three weeks beginning today. Residents have been told to stay home except for essentials, things like going to buy food or caring for pets. These are now the most restrictive measures we've seen so far in the United States. This comes after the governors of New York, New Jersey and Connecticut banded together yesterday to impose curfews and steer Americans away from bars and restaurants, moving to takeout only. Casinos, gyms, theaters and more are also temporarily closed and gatherings are now limited to 50 people. And as more people stay home and shop online, Amazon says it plans to hire 100,000 employees across the United States. The company says it plans to increase pay for workers in fulfillment centers, transportation, stores and deliveries by $2 an hour.